Did change app lifecycle state is very important sometimes. A use case for this if you, if you have a countdown timer and if you navigate out and then back in you want to have the timer keep going if you navigate out and then when you go back in you will fetch the timer again. So if you like this kind of tutorials please consider subscribing and let's get into it. Get a free full month of Skillshare and stream more than 18,000 online classes on subjects like design, business and tech. After a while and you feel like this isn't for you, you can always cancel a subscription and not pay anything. So don't wait, try it out now. The link is in the description. So here we have the normal counter app. So let's just remove some code that we want to use or we will replace. So first off, we remove the stateful widget right here, the homepage. And we open this uh, method up or class up. We will remove this and replace it with just a homepage. We'll also remove the title like that. And if we go and save now, we'll get an error because we can't. So we go to the lib, we create a new folder. Let's call it pages. We create a new Dart file. Let's call it home page. And we create our stateful widget. We import the material design. So let's now take this page and display it here and see if we can, we have to import the package. There we go. If we say it now, we should have a black screen and that's because we're returning a container. So if we replace that with a scaffold, we should have the white screen. There we go. So before we begin, let's add some uh, comments just to know what we are doing. So at the top here, or we can actually have it here. So we're going to do a few things. We have to um, add, uh, let's add widget binding observer to our homepage state. So this will be responsible for uh, fetching or seeing our state of the app. And we have to add it in init state. We have to dispose of it. And we have to add our lifecycle um, method, which is just called did change app lifecycle state. And that's a really tongue twister. I have to record many times to get that name right. So let's just get right into it. So if we check here at our state class, we can copy this widget binding observer. We go into our state right here and we type with and then we paste that in. If I save now, nothing has really changed. We have to do some more things, right? So the first thing is we have to import our init state. Remove this. We have to add our dispose. And we have to add one more method, which is did change app lifecycle state. If we close this, we can see this a bit better. There we go. So first off, we have to initiate so the widget binding knows what it's observing. So after the super in init state, we will call widget binding the instance, and then we add an observer. And when we call this, we are meaning or implying that we are targeting this widget binding observer right here. If we close this off, we can do the same in dispose. So this is necessary just to clean it up if we're not using it or navigating out of this widget. We call this here also like that. So right now we have our, if we uh, rerun this, we have done our widget binding observer to our, to our, and we have implement our init state, our dispose, and we are on this one, right? 
So the thing we are going to implement here is a a switch because we have some different states that we want to check, right? So the first thing is if we create a switch we can put in the state there and if we open that up we can see that we are missing some cases. So if we are going to add a case we can call our app life. If you um, don't remember the name of this you can always see up here it's the same as this one and if you uh, put a dot there you will see that four different um, states so let's just uh, begin with the pause we can call a break and uh, we have to add this one right like that and we can copy this actually want it to be like that and we create well we can have it like that there we go we have four different now so let's change this up to accommodate that so we have the resumed we have the let's take the inactive and then the suspending so the showcase will mostly be of these two. Uh, let's open this up. Uh, I found this in the documentation. And this will explain all of them very detailed. So you'll get a better understanding if you're not following in the video. But I will mostly sh uh, show the resumed and paused. Because those are the most important. In my uh, experience at least. So I will add this in the comments up here. In the documentation right there so if you want to check this out more or um, clone this repo you can always do that and i will put the repo in github so you can also find it there so if we call our print method let's just call uh, this is print past state and we print or copy this to all our states and just change the name of this like that if we check this now this should be working so if we navigate outside the application you can see that we first call inactive state and then we call pause state if we both if we check on this now so inactive state is when you have focus on something else in the application uh, or in the phone so this is pretty much the same or not completely the same as pause but it's very similar and uh, that's why i almost always use the pause instead of the inactive um so let's go back again to the application i think it's not that one let's go back here and we can see oh, before all of this we can see that we call the resume state again and resume state is just when we get into the focus of the application again. Um, so let's clean this up. If I can remember how to clean it there. So there we go. There we have the basic uh, input of the widgets binding. So with this you will be able to do a couple of different things. For example if an app I am creating right now. I am having a countdown timer so I want to have this timer going on if the user press if the user has pressed play right and then navigate out but still have the um, application in the background and then I navigate so that is all for this video I hope you liked it and I hope it helped you please consider subscribing and commenting what you'd like to see next and I will see you in the next tutorial bye